blood, blood, blood. What do I want blood for? What do I need blood for? Okay, well, as it stands, let's go back to the other side and try to figure out some other shit over here. Because there's probably more I can figure out beyond that other door now that I've done all that. And none of that seems to connect to what I was doing. So I can probably do all the stuff behind this other door now. I just didn't figure it out, everything, or I missed something. So I did get the monkey scroll thing. I'm going to go put that in here real quick and see if that helps me do anything. So I put this in here. And then spin that shit, or what do I do? Oh, now it spins. Honestly... I might have to read the story again, because I don't remember what the fucking story was and whether or not it's fucking helpful for this situation. Let me read it again. His fingertips sliding wrapped over the small bumps covered the purpose of his paper. His defense attorney seemed hypnotized by the angry movements of the judge's lips. The accused mothers wrote in capital letters frantically on some paper that she lifted over her head in desperation. The gavel hit the hit its victim resigned, and so the cold blade inevitably fell onto the innocent's neck. So maybe this is like the judge, the, the attorney, the mother kind of thing. It's like the judge read it aloud, so. Maybe he's blind, so he can't see, because he has to bumps on the paper. So, first one's blind. He seems hypnotized by the angry movements of the judge's lips, so he can't hear. So, number two, so no see, no hear, no speak. The gavel hit and the victim resigned. That one I'm not sure about, but I think... I got the first three. Oh, he's headless. There's a headless one. I didn't see that. Oh, let me put the thing back in. I think I got it now. I think I got it. That makes sense. So, first guy can't uh, see. This one can't hear. This one can't speak. And this one is headless. Boom. Oh, and I have to hammer it because it's a gavel. That's what the hammer's for. Ha ha, I'm a smart boy. Use staple gun, the power's adjustable. Why does that matter? Why does the power of my staple gun matter? Do I have to go staple the dude's arm on? Is that what it's for? I guess that's what we're going to do. It seems a little fucked up, but sure. Let's go staple his arm on. This is the first thing I've picked up where I could... Something I can attach something with, so why not? So here we go. Put your arm on there. Staple that shit. Hell yeah. Oh yeah, it's not strong enough. Then make it stronger. Hell yeah, there you go. Okay, now he has an arm. Hallelujah. Back to the real world. Brody, you got your arm back, Brody. There you go. 
Father, are you okay? Carolyn, my child. That thing has stolen my Bible. So fuck about your Bible, your arm was gone. Stay there, Father. Right now, it's vital that you keep calm. Yes, you're right. I don't know how I'll be able to thank you for taking care of my arm, my child. What are you talking about, Father? It wasn't me. But I saw you. Oh, uh, you are right. I'm getting confused. Now that I think about it, it was Dr. William who treated my arm. Oh, was it? Dr. William, the Wildberger twin's father. Is he in the mansion? I had no idea Dr. William had daughters. Where can I find him? He's usually in his office. You'll probably find him there. I'll go find him. He might be able to give me some answers. Take this. I'm sure it'll be more useful to you than me. Something I need to make progress. Thank you, Father. I'm sure this will be of help. God be with God you, God be child. with you, child. There it goes. Oh, an electric lamp with a power switch. Huh. How does that work? Can I just like combine that with a weapon? Hmm. An electric lamp with a power switch. There must be something to attach that to. Where can I find Dr. Williams' office? You can find Dr. Williams' office on the second floor of the West Wing. He said West, but it says East on the screen. Which one's correct? Thank you, Father. Stay safe. That's... some fucked. He said West, but it says East. Whatever, dude. Office. Where's the office room? It's probably on the east side. Office room. Yeah, the office room at the end of the hall, which I haven't been in because... Why haven't I been in there? Why haven't I been over there? There's something blocking the way, right? Like, there's a dude over there that I can't get by. Is that why I can't get over here? Why can't I get over here again? I'm trying to remember why... I haven't even been in the bedroom. The bedroom was locked or something from the other side, right? Yeah. That's probably what it is. Okay. So I'm a... Am I sure I can't combine the weapon with a fucking light? I feel like the whole point of that is so you can shoot things in the dark now. Unless I'm supposed to equip it to like a hat or a helmet, which I don't have right now. Was there anything else about these rooms that I didn't solve? I'm trying to think. There was the room back here that had the big electrical thing in it. Or like the fence or whatever. Hold on. I'm gonna take a look at that again real quick. Oh, and there was also one in the, the underworld where, okay, you know what, I'm gonna check that out too. I want this. I want this. Maybe I gotta open it in the past. And then it'll be open in the future. That would actually make the most sense. So hold on. I'm going to take that into consideration. So the only thing I really question is how do I utilize this light? There's nothing on it lets me move it. Can I combine it with my clothes? Is that what it is? Do 
No, dang it. What can I combine it with, man? Can't combine it with the shotgun. Gotta be able to combine it with something. Nothing I have, apparently. Hmm. Still get to keep the hammer after that gavel clue, huh? That's interesting. And the staple gun thing. I wonder what those are going to be for. If we're still holding on to things, I wonder if you still use them, you know? Alright, well, I need to find a way to use the light. Once I figure that out, I'll be able to kill these guys in the dark. I have at least two sets of guys in the dark that I need to be able to kill. But I don't know how to use my light. Man, there's got to be a way. There's got to be a way. There's got to be a way. I'm... 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 Positive there's got to be a way. Because honestly, what else is there for me to do? I don't still don't have any discs for this fucking computer or that one locked door. Like, what other rooms even are there that I haven't been in that I can get to? There's the two paths that I know of that are dark with a guy in the way that I have to be able to kill. Now I feel like I have the way to do that, but I don't know how to use the freaking light to connect to my stuff. Or how it works. Combining it with something is the only thing that makes sense, but combining it with what? Actually, hold on. The light's already on my chest. Do you see it? It's there. How do I use it? You guys see that? It's actually already pinned to my chest. How do I turn it on? Do I just have to turn the the lighter off? Is that what it is? Let me see. Oh my god, that's all I had to do. I just had to turn the lighter off. I'm a dumb. I didn't actually see that it was pinned to my chest already. I'm a dumb. Well, I may be a dumb, but at least I realized it before I went all crazy about it. Okay. Well, never mind on what I was just saying. I was like, that's the only answer. Is it has to just work. And now we can just walk around with a gun all the time. I enjoy that. Makes me a happy boy. Oh boy, let me get the shotgun out for this guy, because fuck that. I don't think he's staying dead, but I'm gonna finish him with the nail gun, because screw wasting. shotties on the same guy okay so as I expected this is gonna open up the door from the other side and thus get me my motherfucking weapon whatever it is it must be the electric lance thing it has to be right hell yeah dude I'm hyped right now because we're about to get another weapon I was super happy about the shotgun what happens when you get an even better weapon? Assuming it's actually better. It's probably one of those like super powerful things you only want to use a couple times. It's crazy. Give it to me. Give it to me, daddy. Stop messing with me, camera angle. Jesus. Yes, first aid kit for the win. A homemade stabbing weapon capable of releasing an electric charge. There it is, the electric lance. That thing looks fancy. And it'll look like it'll fuck somebody up. And I'm excited to use it on someone. Can't open it. Oh, I guess on the outside that was kind of blocked. Alright, well. I'm happy. We got the new weapon. And now I know exactly where to go now that I have the light. So, fuck yeah. I'm just going to go ahead and head that direction now, because fuck it. Uh, let's see. This way. Sorry. Got to remember where I was and where I'm going. Alright, the hall I'm looking for is on the other side, right? Because we're on this side. I need to be on the other side. 
yeah. Through the meeting room. These weird ass camera angles, man. They're so. They throw me off every time it goes from like a straight angle to like a fucking angle. Like. Oh! Hello, new enemy that wasn't there before. You're cool. It would stand a reason they would put new enemies out here. Just because. You're making progress. Let's throw some more enemies out there you gotta kill. Kinda makes sense, actually. I'm not mad at it. How many nails do I have left? I must be low. Oh, I'm out. I'm literally out. Then shotgun is our new weapon of choice. Oh, watch out for those. Okay, so this from the other side. We went the wrong way. Wait, where? Hold on, where am I right now? Wait, why? Oh, I can't go this way. Where the hell is that one path with the darkness then? I know where I need to go, but where the heck was that? Where was that? There was a dark corridor I couldn't go through to because it was blocked. Where was that? I thought it was this path, but it's not, because this path has light. It must be on the west side. Right? Dressing room observation. We've been to those rooms, though. Was it on the first floor? Am I tripping? The laundry. No. Have I been to the laundry? Hold on. What rooms haven't I been to? I've been to all these rooms, I think. Dennis room, private room, newborn room. Yeah, we've been to all those. It's something on the west first floor, then. I think it's the shower room and the laundry. That's where I need to go. Okay. So I'm tripping. I do need to go here, but I need the key card, which I'm going to go ahead and go on a limb and say we're going to get the key card from this other hallway. The hallway I was thinking of. Hence why we need to go down here, and there's probably an enemy down here. Yep. I kind of figured. Night, night. Still another one? Bruh. Damn, son. Get fucking clicky clacked. Night night. He's dead dead, right? The music stopped, so... Whatever. Alright, this way. I don't know why you're there. But we're going the right way if enemies are spawning. I'll tell you that right now. New enemy spawn, you know you're going the right way. That guy is not dead. Damn it. I hate that I had to waste two shots. How many more shots do I have of that? I got seven more shots. One loaded and six more. I hate to use all that shit up, but I don't have any more nails. Oh well. Going the right way, I'm pretty sure, because at the end of this hall, there's this fucker in the way. Now he's a dead fuck. Okay, so now that he's a dead fuck. Wait, there should be a shower room door around here? Wait, what? Where's that at? Wait, where the hell am I? I'm at the laundry room? Where the hell am I? Let's just see. Yeah, this is the laundry. Where the fuck's the shower room, then? I don't know. Have I been to the shower room already and I'm just stupid? 
The shower room is connected to the laundry room. Okay, so maybe I just haven't been there because I have to only come in from this way. This is certainly possible. Thank God, more nails. Who's, wa who's washing something at a time like this? Turn it off. Shut tight. Okay. You. Smells awful. Yeah, dope. I don't know what you what you want from me. It smells awful. Yeah, I don't care. Maybe I should put some blood in there. That'd be hilarious. The button is stuck. Okay, so I stopped it. Now it won't open. Can I crowbar that shit open? I guess not. Okay. Something that smells awful. Uh, hammer it. Just beat the fuck out of it. Scalpel that shit. Can I interact with anything else here? There's the shut tight. Awful smell. And button that's stuck. <sighs> Nothing in my inventory makes sense. To me anyways. We'll come back to that. Alright, well, we're gonna check. Oh! Okay. Didn't care for that. Never mind. I guess that's all you had to do is walk away, and then things happened. Empty box with a sh medallion shaped mold. Okay. Cool. Can we open it? A. Oh, we have to make the medallion. Okay. We have to melt something into there, but we have to make it. Okay. Noted. Also, hi, Jester. Raw, raw, indeed. Spoopies. The spoopies. Right. Into the shower room we go. Don't drop the soap. Just looking for that disc. The disc has got to be in here, right? High pressure hydrotherapy device used in the early 20th century treatment mental illness. Sounds like fun. Shotgun ammo for the win. <laughs> he was literally holding the disc. That's hilarious. Jaywad, Tamar, Lomar, Judith, Avital, Tisha, Milka, Shilon, Lois, Kala. So we get, we get the floppy disk. That's not going to open the door, but it's going to deal with the computer. Maybe the computer I can make or create the disk I need to open the door, though. See what I mean? Things unravel one thing at a time. So that's a shortcut door. Got it. I didn't look all over here yet. Spooky body. I like that it had to make a spooky sound just to scare me with a dead body. Cool. High power charge. Oh, yeah. I'm going to be excited to use that. I'm saving that up like magnum ammo for a fucking... Like it's a goddamn... Resident Evil game. Save that shit like it's a Magnum. I don't even know if that's going to be my Magnum of the game, but I'm saving it regardless. Alright, so anyway. We got the disc. The computer is actually not that far away from here. Good to know. That's where we're headed. That's some bath water. Must be nice on the skin. Totally. I think this is where I need to go. This way? Yeah, through the studio... Which is actually a save room. You know what? Let's be smart. Let's save it. It's been a while. Something tore off one of the priest's arms. Yeah, no shit. Thankfully, the doctor, William, surgically replaced it with a new one. 
I didn't even realize a procedure like that was possible. Me neither. I also discovered that William is the father of the twins in the photo. I should go to his office to see if he can give me some useful information. That's literally where I was headed, but thank you. Okay, cool. I just need to save it, so that's done. So now... To the Chappelle side. Which of course has a new enemy! Which I'm not surprised by at all. Alright, and there's another one down here. Because that's exactly where I need to go. Hello! Boom! Chocolate boy. Okay, if he's not dead, we'll 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 nail him gun we'll nail gun him the rest of the way to death. Are you dead? Yo, Sanka, are you dead, man? Seems dead now. Alright. To the computer room. Alright, use my floppy. Write a new keyword. Uh, all right. My new keyword's gonna be GGG, GGG. You got it? It's right protected. What? Hold the fucking phone. Give me that disc back. Give me that shit. I think you have to do old school floppy disk style. You had to do that to write, and then you can write on it. That's how it works. I think that's how that worked. All right, I'm gonna make it. I'm still gonna make it GGGG because I'm funky. You know what I should do for fun? Literally make it funky G. I think it'll fit. Funky G. Ah, oh, it won't fit perfectly though. Funky G space? Does that work? Right, protect. Get the fuck out of here. Wait, it doesn't stay? Oh, wait, what the fuck? Three plus six minus nine. That is what that said, right? Three plus six minus nine. That's zero. Is it just because I'm not putting the right word on there 3 plus 6 minus 9 Lomar plus Tisha minus Kala does that make any sense no Lois minus Lois sorry Lomar oh my god it does make sense 3 plus 6 is Lomar Tisha minus the low and the is so it's Marsha no Martha Martha that's the answer. Martha. Bruh. Puzzle solving fool right there. I never did turn the disc around. There it is. Martha. Nope. Mar. Uh, I thought we were just like making our own code to put on there, but no. Martha. Martha, Martha, Martha. No, why? What am I doing wrong? Damn it, I'm missing something. Hold on. Three plus six minus nine. Yeah, that would get rid of the LO. So I have it right, but what am I fucking with wrong here? How do I make it not right protected? Hmm. 
I know. Smash it with a hammer. Insert disk to write a new keyword. That's all it says. Here's a question. I didn't actually try the disk on that door. Maybe it just opens the door. Maybe we should just go try it. Maybe the point of this is for something else entirely. And I'm getting ahead of myself. You know what I mean? Like, maybe I'm supposed to change the keyword later. But I need this disc specifically just to open the door. Let's go find out real quick. Even though we've already confirmed that it is definitely Martha is some kind of clue to something. Let's not and say we did. But I want to create Carzy Autumn. What's up, Carzy Autumn? Welcome in. He's super Carzy. <laughs> and he's super following me right now. Thank you for the follow, sir. Reading. Error. Bruh. You can't have an error. Also, cat, don't scare me like that. Dang it. Okay. This game was so good, Crazy Autumn. It is pretty good. I'm having enjoying this so far. Arrow, 404. Okay, so I do need to do something with the computer first to get this to work. All right, so I was on that right track. But fuck, man, what do I need to do with it, though? I'm missing something, or I'm forgetting something, or how do I make something right? If it's right protected, not right protected. I'm. Is there some kind of old school floppy disk thing I'm forgetting? I feel like there is. Blow on it. Yeah, like a Nintendo game. Switch the notch on the basket back in the disc. I did do that though, didn't I? Unless you're talking about this little notch right here. Oh, this notch. Son of a bitch. Bruh. That thing was so small, I didn't even notice it. Bruh. Because I was thinking, like, there's there's got to be something on there to make it right. It's a physical piece of media. There's a way to do it. There's got to be a switch or something. There's small IRL, too. I agree. I just forgot. I just forgot that existed, dude. It's been so long since I used a floppy disk. Especially one that big. Holy crap. Anyway. Mar. The. Let's try that again, shall we? Boom. Okay. So I'm guessing if I would have. Oh, wait. I got to actually take the disc with me, smart guy. So if I would have took. Did that without the right code, it probably would have just still said error that I had the wrong code. That's what I imagine, anyways. So even if I would have put Funky G on there like I wanted, it would have been hilarious. But I still would have got... Uh, it was still would have errored me. Wrong code. But at least I would have been like, okay, then I need to type something specific on there. But I'm, I'm kind of glad I figured out the Martha thing first, because that seemed more complicated, to be honest. Just finding the stupid little switch on there was bad enough. Anyway, PJ... Um, Thanks for the little tip, but I will say this is a no backseating, no spoiler type playthrough, so I would prefer it if I didn't have answers from the chat unless I absolutely need them. Thank you for, since it was something just I didn't see on the back of the disc, I'm not mad about it. I'm just letting you know to be careful with help with like that unless I absolutely want the help. Someone thinks they're Batman? I'm Batman. I'm always Batman. Where is she? Uh, it's the Martha thing. Nah, it's all good, BJ. I'm just letting you know. Cause I spent an hour earlier uh, doing nothing because I couldn't figure out what to do, and I needed a, like a hint to figure it out, and it was not obvious, even with the hint. But yeah, someone thinks they're Martha and 
uh, Superman all at once because they both. Have Martha as a mother. Martha Wayne, Martha Kent. Maybe we should be brothers because both our moms are named Martha. Anybody seen Batman vs. Superman? Dumbest twist ever. My mom's name Martha? Yeah, your mom's name Martha too? We should, we should stop fighting. Anyway, a vinyl record, huh? What am I gonna do with that? You finished helping a friend on 14, so you're back, uh, allegory? Nice. I'm probably going to be done here pretty soon, honestly, because I've been going for a little over, almost close to four hours now, 3.40. And it's almost 12.30 now. I probably should be going to bed here soon. But I can't stop. Won't stop. Anyway, what an amazing twist. You once avoided getting shot in a mugging because our moms were both named Leslie. Exactly. What a fucking dumb twist, am I right? What a fucking dumb twist. <laughs> It's like the movie was kind of okay until that happened, and I was just like, really? That, 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 that? Yeah, okay, cool. Anyway, I'm expecting William is hopeful, but is more measured and demure than last time. He hired a maid to serve me, and she has not left my side at, f at my side. At first, I did not like the idea, but Anna and I have become good friends during these months together. She's almost my age and shares a love for art. On some afternoons, we talk for hours about famous artists, poetry, paintings, and sculptures. I feel a little guilty. I could never talk about such things with William. Of course, I never cared too much about the only subject he loves to discuss. Medicine. Such important story, you know? It's alright. They got James Gunn heading their movie productions now, so hopefully they'll be better. James Gunn is good. He's got good stuff. I don't like that the music kind of stopped in this room, even though it was playing. Not a fan. We're finally going to go through some new rooms here, though. we got a penthouse, we got a children's room, and an office. Ooh, boy. Heels. Heels are good. I came in that door, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, the ominous music stopped. Not a fan. Kind of wish it kept going. Alright, welcome to the punt house where there's gonna be a cutscene. E what are you? Boss fight? A f what the freak? It's floating! Oh you're gross. Oh you're gross. Yep, um you're gross. Guess what you're gonna do? You're gonna catch the burnt end of this, son. Woo! Another one? Your ass is hanging out, by the way. You want another one? Boop. Reload. I'm not gonna use any more of that. That feels like a waste to use on you. I'm gonna bust out the shotgun for the rest of this. Want some more? Nasty bitch. Want some more? gonna die? Hello? Uh, am I wasting ammo on you? Hmm. Hmm. This feels like a waste. I feel like I'm wasting my ammo on this, which makes me sad because I used a lot. And I kind of wanted to die now. What a gruesome experiment, indeed. Fuck! I forgot to reload. What are you doing? Off me. What the? F Am I out of ammo? Am I stupid? up all my ammo. Holy crap. Uh, shit. That's bad. No wonder it's not working. I used up all my ammo. Well, um, this thing's not gonna die, is it? I 
I used all my ammo for nothing, and didn't I? Part of me wants to reset. <sighs> I'm gonna make a separate save if I save it again, I'll tell you that right now. Anyway, you got your capture card all set up for tomorrow for play Ragnarok allegory? That sounds pretty dope. Good luck. I will not be watching, obviously, and you know why. Because I want to play it. Let's read. We fled the mansion, making as little noise as possible. We went to the port town the hill. We went to the port down the hill. Mother was agitated. She was having trouble breathing. Huge blisters were appearing on her skin. We were halfway over the old wooden bridge, 65 feet above the river, when men wearing those awful suits appeared from behind trees on each side. Mother held my sister and me between her arms. As we inched closer to the railings, the man approached us slowly as the bridge started to moan and crack. Mother pushed us closer and closer to the barrier. One of the planks broke and my sister screamed and fell over. I caught her by the arm but wasn't strong enough to hold her for too long. She fell. I couldn't do anything to stop it. Mother didn't have any time to react and lose, lost her footing too. The men grabbed us and took us to Grandfather Noah. Mother, took, mother looked worse with each passing second. Grandfather had me thrown inside of a locked cell. He told me that no one would hear me no matter how much I screamed. He also said that since my sister had died, I was of no use because he needed both of us to open the vault's entrance. After he walked away, I was alone. I was left alone, locked inside a cell with a single candle to provide light. I screamed and cried until I was exhausted. These may well be the last words I will write. I am sure I will die here. Why did all this happen? I wish you were here, Father. Wow, that's fucked up. Pretty fucked up. Uh... Something could fit in this slot. You don't say. Not this. No. I don't think I have anything round. Or moon-shaped, whichever that whatever that's supposed to be, unless it's the vinyl. Vinyl's way too big for that though. I don't think I have anything for that. Not yet, anyways. These children's drawings are unsettling. Are they? The bottom left one is for sure. I like the piano music playing in here, it's nice. Wait, which way did I come in this room? Was there only one way in and one way out of here? Oh, there was. I missed a turn. Yeah, there was only one way in here. I missed a turn to go into the office if that was even an option. Oh, father. I heard you were here, father. Play the music, father. Play it? Uh, play it? Play Oh, wind it up. There you go. Maybe I should listen to the whole thing before I stop it? Maybe there's something needed on there? Well, maybe that's a, a tune I need to remember. <laughs> I'm gonna go with maybe. <laughs> Photo of a metallic door. Have I been there before? Yeah, the fucking dark side, fool. The hell world. All right, that's open from the other side now. Some sort of box shut tight. Okay. Cool. We're not going to find a way to open it, apparently. It's just shut tight. That's all that matters. Oh, shit. There's somebody here. The doctor's here? Is he alive? His head's cocked to the side. Maybe he blew his own brains out. That would be dope. Loosen rust parts. Free sticky mechanisms. Some WE-40. Uh... Loosens rust... I have run into doors that were rusted, but it, 
can I use an item on them? I guess maybe it's this door that it's talking about. I was rusted shut. Yeah, he looks dead. Sir, you look dead. He looks dead as fuck. Collection of books about science. And a dead man. Body's still warm. He was probably alive just hours ago. What's going on here? Somebody fucking murked that fool. That's what's going on. Too dark outside to see anything. Yeah, okay. Collection of books about science. Bloody blah blah blah. Science. William Wildberger's Diary. I have injected Maria with the antidote. At first, her body began convulsing, and she released a deafening shriek. It lasted only a few seconds, after which everything went back to silence as she collapsed into bed. It was her, her skin, her hair, her eyes looking at me, completely lucid. When she moved her lips weakly to say something, I stepped closer to listen. What she said stopped my heart. William, my father, has taken the girls. I stepped away, perplexed. Her eyes slowly closed, and please smile spread across her face. Did she wait all this time, trapped inside that thing, to tell me this? Her life has finally ended. Rest in peace, my love. The unspeakable things I will do to you have no name, Noah. Once you tell me what you did to my girls, you will beg me to take your life. This is odd. I don't feel well at all. My heartbeat is accelerated. My mouth is dry. My eyes are cloudy. My throat is tight. These symptoms. Someone has poisoned my wine. And you are dead. Rip. His body is still warm. Rip to you, sir. So... Huh. Interesting. We got the can of WE-40. We got a picture of a door that we might need to go to. Oh, I didn't even interact with this. Oh. One eye socket's empty. That's what I would do if I was slowly writing, slowly dying of poisoning. Just keep writing. Oh, shit. I think someone poisoned my wine. I'm dead. I die on this day. So, kind of tempted to just reset and kind of pick up where we left off here for the next time so I can have all my ammo back. Because now I'm kind of mad that I used all my ammo in that fight and I probably didn't need to. And I don't know how much longer this game has, but I can't imagine there's a whole lot left. But I still feel like it's more than I have time for tonight. Even if it's only like an hour, that's still more than I really want to go for. So I think we're just going to stop here. I'm not going to save it because I'm going to reload my save. And I'm going to come back to this point right here after I've gotten the stuff in that room for next time. And I will uh, not use my ammo in that fight at all. I'm just going to run from that bitch the whole time. I do wonder if I missed any items in that room where she was at while I was fighting. I almost feel like I should go back in there and check. Just throw down with her for a little bit. I don't know what that music was about, but I did not like it. Is she gone from this area? I'd be okay with that. She's probably not, but we can hope. Bruh, she might be gone from this area. Maybe she was out in the hall now. And you just have to spend the rest of the game running for your life from her. Which would be hilarious. Yeah, there's nothing in here. Alright. So I'm going to do exactly what I just said. I'm going to reload my save for next time. And I'll meet you back. Basically, I'll just be back in this room with the same shit I have right now, except for I'll have my ammo back. And we'll go from there. So thank you for watching this Tormented Souls. And I'll see you guys in the next one where we may finish up the game. Peace out.